KTN Business Today, even as we continue to give you the latest details regarding that particular meeting that IBC held with the NASA principals earlier today. And we shall be getting more insights into that developing story. Right now, we want to talk matters financial inclusion. And joining me this afternoon, I have an interesting panel that will be delving deeper just to understand what financial inclusion is all about, as well as where are we as a country and what can we do better to be able to bank the unbanked in the society. Well, I just want to allow my uh, guests this afternoon to just kick it off with um, an introduction and walk us through some of the key insights in regard to financial inclusion. Right now, Central Bank of Kenya places uh, financial inclusion at about 75%. Uh, that technically means 25% of adults are still yet to be banked. Should this worry us as a country? Um, ideally, yes, uh, which is actually one of the key discussions that came out of the conference. Um, the fact that we're saying that 75% of the population or the adult population is banked mm -hmm. and 25 remaining unbanked um, leads us to then ask ourselves whether we are actually measuring this um, correctly. Because as much as we're seeing these numbers, at the back of it, we're seeing constrained credit access. Mm -hmm. We're seeing um, not so much uh, deposit mobilization. So one of the key discussions that came out of the conference especially was whether we are actually measuring financial inclusion correctly. Are we looking at it from the access point of view, mm -hmm. where individuals basically have access to a particular financial service? Or is it the fact that they're actually using these financial services? Because that ideally is a very different paradigm from just simply having access to them. All right. I'm sorry to buy.